this is Teacher Lou again. Today, we will learn how to write an expository paragraph. I recommend that you watch the first video on how to write a paragraph, which will help with this paragraph. The link for how to write a paragraph can be found below in the description. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Sign up for alerts so that you will be one of the first informed when I post new content. If you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you. Now let's begin learning how to write an expository paragraph. Do you know what an expository paragraph is? An expository paragraph writing gives facts and information about a topic. Now you say it. An expository paragraph writing gives facts and information about a topic. Thumbs up. Example, research reports, directions, and recipes. We should remember two facts. Number one, an expository paragraph writing is to inform, which means to give information. Now you say it, an expository paragraph is to inform, which means to give information. Thumbs up. Number two, an expository paragraph writing also explains the information using many details. Now you say it. An expository paragraph writing also explains the information using many details. Thumbs up. Let's review. A paragraph is a group of sentences centered around a topic sentence or main idea. A paragraph has a beginning, a middle, and an end. The first sentence of your expository paragraph is called a topic sentence. A topic sentence tells what your paragraph will be about. Using a hook with your topic will make your expository writing more interesting. A hook is a sentence at the beginning of your writing that gets the reader's attention by creating a picture in the reader's mind. Example, I like junk food is my topic sentence. This sentence does not create a picture in the reader's mind, but if you say, you'll be surprised to learn that the aroma from the junk food makes me happy. This sentence is more interesting. Why? Because the hook created a picture in the reader's mind. Now you say it. A hook makes your writing more interesting. Now, let's talk about the middle of an expository paragraph. After you use a hook at the beginning of your paragraph, next, use detail. Details are pieces of information that support or tell about your topic sentence or main idea. Now, you say, details are pieces of information that support or tell about your topic sentence or main idea. Thumbs up. Details tell who, what, when, where, how, and why. Now you say it. Details tell who, what, when, where, how and why. Thumbs up. Stay focused on the topic sentence. If your topic sentence 
It's about junk food. You shouldn't have detailed sentences about how to fly a kite. Also, using similes and metaphors in your paragraph writing will create interesting word pictures. What is a metaphor? A metaphor compares two unlike things. A metaphor states that one thing is the other. Example one, a mighty fortress is our God. Fortress and God are being compared to unlike things or character. Example two, the ocean is a huge swimming pool. Ocean and swimming pool. A simile compares two unlike things in order to describe one of them, using the word like or as. Now you say, a simile compares two unlike things in order to describe one of them, using the word like or as. Thumbs up. Example one. We will always remember Chadwick Boseman as King T'Challa in Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman and King T'Challa are being compared. Number two, the sun was like an orange. Sun and orange are two unlike objects. Another example would be the phrase, number three, gentle as a lamb. Number four, cold as ice. Both similes and metaphors create interesting pictures. BME, repeat it. BME, which stands for the three parts of a paragraph, beginning, middle, and end. Now let's talk about the end. The last sentence of your paragraph is the conclusion which summarizes the topic sentence or main idea. This sentence reminds the reader of what you are writing about. Example, although nutritious food is better for your health, junk food is fun to eat and so delicious. Let's plan an expository paragraph. Step one, think about purpose and audience. Your purpose tells why you are writing. Now you say, purpose tells why you are writing. Good job. Example, you're writing to inform, explain, or persuade. The audience is those who will read what you write. Now you say, the audience is those who will read what you write. Good job. Example, your friends, your family, your principal, your teacher, your favorite athlete. Step two, brainstorm ideas for your topic. Brainstorming is a strategy used to help you think of ideas to help you solve a problem. Now you say, brainstorming is a strategy used to help you think of ideas to solve a problem. Use a graphic organizer to help you practice organizing your ideas. Now you say, use a graphic organizer to help you practice organizing your ideas. Step three, choose a topic and list information about the topic. Now you say, choose a topic and list information about the topic. In this lesson, I will choose the topic. So you don't have to do that. Step four, use an outline to organize the information. Now you say, use an outline to organize the information. Think of it as a map that identifies the topic, 
the main idea and supporting details. This is our graphic organizer. Junk food is delicious is my topic sentence. I have reason one and reason two to support my topic sentence. Reason one, sweet or sugary. Reason two, salty. I also have an opinion. Junk food is the food that most people like, eat, and buy. In conclusion, junk food is good. Using a prompt. What is a prompt? A prompt guides you in writing about a special person, thing, or topic. Now you say it. A prompt guides you in writing about a special person, thing, or topic. Expository prompt. Nutritious food contains vitamins and minerals, which will help your body to be healthy. However, Kids would rather eat junk food because it's fun and tastes delicious. Think about a kind of junk food. Write about a junk food that you desire. Explain why you like this junk food. Be sure to organize your ideas. Use details. Use correct spelling, capitalization, punctuation, grammar, and sentences. Let's write our paragraph. You'll be shocked to learn that junk food is delicious. I can already smell the aroma from the junk food as I enter through the silver steel gigantic gates at the State Fair of Texas. Junk food is my topic sentence. Notice that I used a great hook to add more interest, which created a picture in the mind of the reader. The word aroma, still silver gate, create a picture in the reader's mind. Now let's talk about the middle. One fascinating thing about junk food is the more you eat it, the more your body craves for it. Some junk food is sweet or sugary like candy, cookies, and soft drinks. Some junk food is salty like potato chips and pretzels. Have you ever tried to eat just one potato chip? Potato chips are salty, crispy, and deliciously tasty. The packaging for junk food, which is paper and plastic, allows it to be transported quicker to grocery stores than fruits and vegetables. Although fruits and vegetables are more nutritious food for the body, junk food is the sunshine of my day. I usually eat junk food at Zoom parties and sporting events. Notice that I use metaphors and similes in this paragraph. Some junk food is salty like potato chips and pretzels. Like is a simile. It makes a comparison. Junk food is the sunshine of my day. This is also a metaphor. Two things are being compared. In conclusion, junk food is not healthy food for you, but it is the food that most people like, eat, and enjoy. Junk food is sugary, sweet, salty, and so delicious. Our expository paragraph consists of a topic, sentence, details to support the main idea, a hook, similes, and metaphors which created pictures in the mind of the reader. If you have any questions concerning expository paragraph writing, or if you would like to enroll in my tutoring session, please contact me at teacherloucunningham at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel.